Sudah. Sudah. Na papa au ni yote. Ni mkidogo. Tamu nafanya hivi kazi za mjengo, nikienda malishoni, mimi before mzayaanze car wash. Ndio car wash ilikuja kama full time job sasa. Before nianze car wash. Na pia nikingoja I have in mind that nangoja kuenda shule ku join Moi University main campus. Kuna besti yangu fulani aliniambia anatafutia job mahali. Job yenyewe ilikuwa ni nini? Akaniambia ni mada fulani ako na cyber. Mimi nitakuwa naenda ku type zile ma papers, ma mock exams, ma nini. Mimi nitakuwa na type hizo exams. Akaanza si uko computer literate nikolekea. Ah, akaniambia sasa siku fulani wewe Monday kuja asubuhi mapema nini? Ai. Kwanza nilidunga hiyo siku wewe nimedunga yani nimeva Air Force leo sijui na leo ya kaki na shati wewe hajua ziendani but nilikuwa mimi na niko smart wewe nimedunga ai nimetesa yangu yote wewe watu wa kijiji wanaona nikitoka hiyo wanajua tu anaenda mahali eh ndio hiyo mimi nimeenda paka badala ya tu meet dogo dogo msaka kanambia tu branch hapa tukaingia kwa kibanda fulani anambia tukunywe chai hapa kwanza akadai chai ni kule tani leo ni kuzuri yani mpaka nimepata breakfast ni jamani mtu ni jamani mtu breakfast yetu hapa hivi and then some guy walks in kama mkubwa and then when he walked in i could notice that this was his place juu aliingia kama anapatia na command so umefanya nini wewe ume ushatengeza soup ushafa eh viongo nani nani aleta nyama akapiga story hapo ni wanaongea ongea he was a very loud guy so mimi nimetulia tu hapo nimenyamaza maze nime na me relax na ngoja tutoke huyo alipo tutoke ndio ile ile cyber asiye anasema ati ba sasa huyo ndio mse nilikwenda kuambia mbona basi ni kwenda okay ana ni point alikuwa anaongea nini kwa msati yake jana unaweza pika ugali nikashangaa ugali tena bro <laughs> IT mambo ya cyber mimi mimi kutaipi nimegeuka kwa ugali siku jua nakuja kutaipi unga hapa hebu saka niko confuse kanita nje kanambia check yule mother bado haja hajashika simu yangu so what to do tukingoja ndio na ni better ujishikilie hapa na umse umfanye fanye nini kiasi 1 2 3 juu pade anakupatia 140 anakupatia 140 na nakupatia lunch na nakupatia sapa ah ni collect ah hiyo ni vibe hiyo ni form sasa ni pick your girl iko nini basi nikakaa hapa hivi and then it was always my nature to be silent nilikuwa nanyamaza tu nikisoma watu and then by then nakumbuka ile Kiswahili ya cost bado ilikuwa hapa hivi nikiongea na naweza jaribu mkubwa ina noma sasa wanajua huyu jamaa pia kijaka hajui. Sasa nimetulia tu hapo nasikia au mademu wananicheka, wananisengenya venye naka sop sop naka. Yote mimi naitoti na gani mtani. Ah, unaitwa dadi. Mimi Hata paka leo naitwa dadi. Kenda mtaa uliza dadi kwa kina dadi ni wapi? Eh. Nyao hostana na Nairobi nasikia wamechange wameita zadi sana. <laughs> ah. Yeah, was well, so Nika nika place ya nika mbona ndio audition audition interview ni kupika sembe ikiiva nimepata job Ah mzee kwenda jikoni place ya kupika sembe ili kwa ni kara nyingine kubwa sijaona na maisha ili ya kupikia watu kwa matanga ama kadhari ni yote tu yani Eh hey, ili kwa kara big Maze tumechapa hiyo biashara hapo hiyo nimeshaikiwa maji imetokota unga nimepewa ndio hiyo unga ni ile 5 kg ile kwa saka mmekata mnaanza kumwaga eh maze mwiko na dosana na mimi nilijaribu kupika hii sembe maze nimefika mali na sweat nikabidi nimetoa shati nimebaki tu na vest napika napika hivi hivi au madema kana ni huruma wale kwa napika masupu nini anasha viombo akana ruma kaita bei fulani hapo kumbe ndani kama wale kwa napika anga ugali akakuja hapo kanambia nikusaidie akakanyamba mawe fulani akapanda kama napanda juu hiyo kitu yenyewe hata sika hapa hapo hapo tu unaona mama maso ala pika hiyo ana sweat sweat zinarudi ndani ya sembe eh nikaomba hiyo ndio protein bro nikulaki lakini 
Kuna kula ugali na pia kuna tezi ya jingi jingi. <laughs> wa, 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 wa. Tuka beba ugali hafta imeiva. Kuna kuhige tabika kwa meza flani. Hini mpewa plastic plate flani. Ndobu unafa kui press, 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 press. Kui plat. Lafu na ifunika fresh. Mbushi ya kuja kaonza kasema imeiva. Hiko sawa. Wewe umepata kazi. Kesho wanza kuja. Kesho utakuanza kulipa pesa zako. Mati ya ni lunch uyo. Eh ni kai kwa mayai mtu ni matumbo na mboga sukuma na ugali. Nilikula hiyo ugali nilimaliza nikamwambia niende hapa hivi narudi. Bado narudi. Hapo bwana ugali wote. Eh mzee. Yeye ndio nilikula man. Nikatoka hapo nikasema sirudi tena huko wallahi sita wala rudi tena. Nikamwambia yule msee mzee ni chama nirudi huko mzee nikapiga family yangu store. Walijua nikitoka niliambia naenda kufanya kazi kwa live cyber. Eh wewe umenifurahia mamangu kwa like all the best my son. Mungu akubariki nini? Ah. Ah. Ala. Ala. Ugai. Eh ya 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 alinitesa. Sasa hiyo ni hasa ibado ka wash jana. Eh sasa after this ndio sasa tukamwa sasa tuweke ka wash. Sasa mzaya kwa full time job sasa. Tuka tunaosha magari hapo kondele tulitafuta space. Strategic. Eh hapo kondele kando pia barabara place. Opposite place inaitwa Kimwa. Ama next to Kimwa rather. Tukaosha magari hapo hivyo nika make a few friends actually I learned a few things from my dad the managerial aspects za ku business when nakimbia oh ume ume umeosha gari na mtungi ngapi oh umefanya nini na kumbuka hiyo time nilikuwa tunaosha magari na mapa eh kuna wasi wako na kuna wasi wako na wako na pressure flani pressure flani pale manze hile eh gili kwa noma so mbe kikuja ya nasema pressure ma hakuna pressure anaenda mbele pressure ma mbe ya kata after loan haka bayi machine tukanda kupata pata job at least kido kidogo tukanda kuona vinyo tunawaka hapa eh ika kuwa poa ikanda kushika shika so hii time kumuka nafaka kuwa na join university sasa moi So nikaenda moi nikapata calling. Actually hata siku pale calling leta juu. Uki apply unafaa kuandika PO box ya shule. Watu wale wanaenda ya shule. Then shule na kuambia leta yako ikoenda ku pick from school. So mimi nenda ku pick shule na mbona sina leta? Gambo nile niangalie shule nili nili. Hapana shule yenye nili zenye nili juu nilipata message unajua unapata anga message kwanza kwa simu ati umeitwa umeitwa Moi so kana ndio mimi niangalie huko Moi nilitoka hapo hivyo nikaenda paka Eldoret my first time kwenda LD maze kaenda nikafika Eldoret nikapata na leta yangu nikapiga reconnaissance hapo hivyo na kumbuka time nilikuwa narudi nikienda home nimeshachukua leta yangu narudi home niko bado Eldoret town kupita place nikaona music shop nikaingia hapo ndani na angalia na tuma gitaa wow eh hey, ninatamani gitaa juba then nikiwa kaos nikiosha magari i made i made a i made a friend called mark mkwana alikuwa na gitaa flani haiko na string statue lakini kwa tu string statue za juu alikuwa na ichapa wewe anakuja hapo tunatengeza eh hey, akaanza kunifunza so nilikuwa natamani gitaa vibaya sana nikao na gita fulani hapo hivyo locally custom made yani ni local haiko fit sana but iliko fretboard iko mbaya action yake ni eh hey, unacheza gita na sikia video zinatoka but hiyo time mimi naona naona ni gita poa sana iliko 75 7500 hizo zimeona gani ma 12k 18 20 ah kama ma 2 anyway haina shida mimi ndo ndanunua nikarudi uh, home nikafika bei ya kwenda shule Watu wakani bless. Sister ngo kanipatia siju 6k. Sijaishika pesa kubwa hivyo. Eh hey, mzee kanipatia siju pesa ngapi? Anko wangu kanipatia siju pesa ngapi? Jumla niko na kitu 8000. Ai niko leo mimi nijalipiwa paka transport. Nilienda kama the first stop nilipiga kwa ile shop ya LD. Kana nikatoa 75 nikabai guitar. Instant. Instant mzee nimebaki na punch. Kumbuka na hapa kwa mtaa nilikwenda main campus kwa lazima ulipe 200 200 
nilipika shule na yoro ya triso but nilikuwa nimefurahi niko na gita yani nimeba suitcase na niko na gita kuvika kwa napata watu wamelika na magari juu na kupana line fresh out umechanganyikiwa ujui ende wapi eh but anyway yeah so that was my life after high school but ile pesa kisu sisao nimeikula sana wala nijua mzee ukiwa tu ma crime bo wajua tu mjalio planning za kusema kwa ndio ma crime kwa hiyo ndio wina ai imba na imba hapo hivyo tena anaangalia utangoja pesa yako alafu pesa na kumkaili kwa inaingia anga friday kuna tumio la kifo ai sasa nimerudi niko niko hapa university niko na gita hii gita yangu nikatoa strings tatu za chini try teaching myself nikaanza ku learn the school had a band ilikuwa na group ya band ilikuwa ni kama university band to some extent i was sijui ni lazima nilikuwa insecure not with anything about my body but my appearance rather nilikuwa exactly siko na ka cool kid so nakumbuka time flying ilikuwa nimeenda hiyo band room so naingia ndani kuna viti kuna kesho na perform then personally nilikuwa napenda kukaa nje juu windows ni glass so naona na kuna vile zimefunguliwa na huko juu kidogo so kwenye nasikia muziki so by the performing naona vile na perform ndio juu mimi hata 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 nimesoma uma boy nimesoma uma boy boy nimesoma lamo boy the only time ni mix na wasichana ni time nilienda ile private school nilipelekwa na time nimerudi ku repeat class eight kisumu ah primary ilikuwa boy school alafu ndo mzaya kanipeleka ile private school ndio ni so ni kunipite tukiwa lamo bado alafu nikalifail nikarudi ku repeat class eight kisumu nikakuwa mixed so mimi na wasichana nilikuwa naogopa majenzi baya nilikuwa shy ndio mkuja hii band na wana wase kuna napata mtu amekaa dema anabebwa kwa Nicole ah mtu ameenda mtu ana hug mtu Nicole ah ah watu wana ajia na hivyo paka yani watu kia na na wafilia hivi naangalia kama kuna watu wamewaona niko so surprised na maisha ya university Nicole uwe kumbuka nikienda shule i had only two trousers and five shirts So hiyo leo na kumbuka madangu ile nishonea hizo leo mbili watu walikuwa na vita long za pasta juni zile zimepigwa pasi ya maka flani alafu ni the material ai nilikuwa na hiyo na nilikuwa na jampa moja bigi na kwa hiyo jampa kubwa na hiyo long zilikuwa fitting ama bigi eh asa hii fitting inakuja kulania hapa hata shule na watu wanafinya maleni ni yangu ilikuwa kubwa alafu nimevaa na floaters so niko hapa nje kwa 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 dirisha na ngeleka na imba wanaimba imba hapo niko niko nje alafu there was this almost for the whole week walikuwa wanafanya auditions for first years so if any first year kuja mtu anaenda pale mtu anaenda kuimba nyata mimi mwenyewe uko nje na cheka nataka mtu anaimba vituko ai Uwe baba mkalimu anaenda kuimba hapo hivyo ameimba na vituko wote wanacheka hata naisha anaambia no anaenda na kachidi anaona ni mbapoa wanachukuliwa but most of the time ilikuwa ni vituko na bale na bale na kalate unasikia unaisha huko nje so it was fun so on the last day we like this is the last day anybody else before we close this window of audition kitu ko like max ingia ndani uende kitu ko like z utachekwa bro usiende ndogoibisha kitu enda eh ah eh nikamwambia saniende ta kuingia kuingia hapo ile unaingia unapita katikati ya watu una excuse excuse unapita places giti zimepangwa unaenda mbele sasa place the band wame set up keys drum yani mics nikafika paka hapo mbele nikanapaka kwa msemini nilikuwa na naongea na uliza kama kuna any mobile any anybody who wants to do auditions kenda kwa tena kamwambia i want to do an audition the moment sasa tuna chocha the moment nilipita katikati ya watu nikienda mpaka huko mbele really 
people judge me other than the kucheka you want to see my giggle i don't want giggle giggle don't want giggle giggle don't want to check a check but as i mean if face na ile hoodie it's a, it's a very big hoodie alafu i'm tall so what i want you to do is just only me be funny but na hoodie na tembe pole pole eh nimeenda nikafa kwa msanii kama wana titani utaimo mungu nimeenda tu hivyo tu gitangu ni macha kwa room kama kaambia wewe msanii nataka kuim nataka ku audition atataka kuimba ngoma gani kaambia hatan soul redeem Mzee Lenza ndio kubasi leo unajua ile kubasi na karibu mwangie mtu mate kwa nini lakini unajisikia akatanu kwa watu anaambia hata kuimba ridi hata msul watu wako like okay kwa kile gani nikasema original key ah wakaanza kucheza wanacheza wanacheza Live wana cheza. Kapewa mic. I was rooted at one spot sick move from the first time nili open lungs zangu kwanza kuimba paka time nimemaliza but nimefunga macho na nimeshika hiyo mic hivi. I'm so sweaty, niko nervous. Unaimba na tetemeka literally. Watu wanaongea ongea na nasikia. Nimefunga macho but nasikia so wanaongea ongea zile watu wanapiga story zao. Niliimba but the more i sang the more quiet the room became like nili really demand attention ya watu na wakaizi watu wakaanza kunyangalia watu wako like okay siku inua macho usiku ongea niliimba nikamaliza the standing ovation nilipewa hapo watu walianza ku clap watu wako like yeah hakuna mtu aliyenda kwa audition hapo akaklapiwa so walini clapia ile kuni clapia ya ukweli Nas kia bien plan na shout from the crowd. Namba yako ni? Mimi ni collect guy. Msichana naomba namba. Literally si juu ni happen but si juu ni kukua shy but I nilitoka mbio. Hiyo kusikia ni muulizwa namba. Nilitoka tu mbio nikapisha pisha watu sikiza 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 nikatoka mbio nikatoka mbio yani nilikimbia nikaenda room nilirudi mpaka room nikaenda nikajifungia niko like nambia room bana ndimo niomba namba mazi aje ai eh juli kuna namba za mimi sikoni nikajifungia huko sikuenda ban for almost 2 weeks Tuk leo nikamwambia niende tu niende nione. Kwenda unienda wapi wewe? Wakani welcome tu vizuri nikakuwa band member officially. Nikamwambia tu kuperform hapo hivyo kwa mimi watu wakaanza kunijua pole pole. Yeah, so that's where my musical journey ikaanza sana sasa on a different level. Sasa naimba na band. During holidays, kwa nikirudi home and uh car wash. Remember mpia kawash yangu tukirudi shule na rudi shule so hii time ya watu hawanioni siko siko kawash niko shule nikirudi watu wako like ah what do you want you know mancha kijana wa mzee wewe wewe umepotea wapi bana what do you want bana wewe tu umepotea hapa mancha msena kazi peke yake bana niko like niko nimeenda shule unasoma wapi naambia moi university ndio leo na check wako like ah wacha ujinga bwana wewe wacha wacha jokes Okay jokes. Moyo ni wazi dia hapana. Lakini usijali. Sasa tuko bidii uko form uko form. Ambe niko moyo mzee. Hawataki kwa mimi. I mean so it was so odd. Mm. Eh, mtoka hiyo place kwenda kampuni na hivyo nikuzidisha unafanya bora ya kuosha magari. So I make sense. Mm. Eh, wali jana bebo watu ufala mzee. Lakini anyway, nikaendelea tu hapo na hiyo kazi. Um during na kumbuka when i was in moi my second year i believe nili end audition sisi za tpf that was the last tpf that ever happened alafu sijui nini ile happen ikaacha ngako happen nilienda kisumu nika auditions from nika pia auditions from kisumu i was lucky to be amongst those who were selected ya nikaenda tukakuja nairobi hapo ndio tukaanguka nguka kunga nili patana na ian kwanza na kumkredi nimeshika gitangu pale nimetengezewa mic wakaniuliza are you ready alafu the previous night najua nimeona vinyo auditions zenye ian anafanya 
kama haumwangalii anafanya hivi anakutoa max huko na muangalia sasa niko niko rada niko leka hapa lazima ni maintain eye contact guitar sijajua kucheza vizuri na I'm still learning nimeshika guitar yangu pia ananiangalia pale kizungu kwanza alafu alikuwa every time mtu akiingia kwa hiyo audition nilikuwa naona anakuuliza what's your name alafu anakuuliza what will you what song will you be doing ni yana kani kuja sasa unajua nimeka akili iko ni kama nime nime program na jua ndio inafika hapo ati eh yes you name nikasema yana kani za what do you do na jibu nilimpatia ili mali alicheka yana alinicheka pale nikasikia uchungu what do you do nikamwambia i'll be doing the song wow 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 yana alisha sana jinga mumbo anacheka ndio nikani hit wewe amekuliza what do you do See which song will you be doing? I'm like, oh, I'm a student. I'm like, thank you. What do you study? Well, linguistics, media, and communication. And that's how bad your English is. Eh? Because I'm okay. No matter me, me na English at two part time. But anyway, um, I can do okay whenever you're ready. I can sing a guitar angu. Niko na ku perform song ya Christina Perry Jaw Heart. Nikaanza vizuri. Train, I know I can take one more step towards you. Sasa bado naniangalia, ningecheza kama naangalia ningecheza vizuri. But sasa najaribu kuangalia hii, anajaribu kuangalia. Sasa nika ile wajifanya stereo nikajaribu kushika. Ningashika chord wrong. Ika sound vibaya. Yeye nakaniambia stop. It's a no for me. Go and concentrate on your studies. Hey. Nikajaribu complete hapo na kumbuka judge mwingine alikuwa Natalie some white lady mwenye sauti ya academy I believe. Nikajaribu kumwambia oh allow me to lose the guitar I will sing without it then. Mama akaniambia hivi ndio umearibu maze. Hii chance once yani ni one in a lifetime maze ume ume waste tu hivyo. Kama unajua huko poa guitar ungekuja na guitar in the first place. Ndimba tu. Ah. Kapata no zangu. Leta kanichapa no musio kusali kwa dada dada kana ndio madara ni kupata yesa itakusaidia asa sema ni mbili ah nikatoka maze huku meet na watu wa Nairobi but that's the year is the kina Amos and Josh pia walikuwa ya yeah, bara tu kwa meet jinsi zina kumbuka we from Kisumu watu wa Kisumu na Mombasa tulikuja pamoja kufanya auditions tena hapa Nairobi watu wa Nairobi nasikia walikuwa shafanya auditions za but hiyo ndio ya kulikuwa na kina Amos and Josh if i'm not wrong yeah But yeah maze karibu shule tukamwa kusome kawash kazi kaende karibika mzee alishinda kulipa rent ile place tulikomboa hiyo 5k a month akakuja na askari alikuja kutolewa hapo na mabounce maze mwenyewe bwe alikuwa amemwacha for 5 months ajalipa kazi by the kaje karibika kazi ya kawash so kazi ya kawash kuharibika from school ajaribu kutafuta other means of survival sasa apana Yenge za rudi kwa yote. Ah ah. Nikatafuta, ikabidi nitafute other means of survival. Kwa kuwa na band. Nikapata na band na wale mabisi zangu pia walikuwa wako na kibando na perform. So nikatafuta kazi hapo, nikapata kazi kama one of the lead vocalists. So I started doing my gigs in Kisumu. Uh, I had gigs at Monami kwa na perform kwa ma events tunaitwa ma corporate gigs nini so yeah so from hapo hiyo ndio mzee akaanza kuona hii muziki actually kumbe inaweza saidia naenda home ni mnunua sukari nikula like, okay okay hii kitu kumbe inaweza hapo ndio mimi nika nikakuwa so sure that hii ndio kitu nataka kufanya now na naweza isema mbele ya mzee Jumai dad ni yule mkali yeah old school boy so Uh, this is how I survived for the better part of my university. Kupiga my gigs na perform. Yeah. Na survive shule. Shule pia tukienda unapata the main band ya shule iko na gigs tunaenda ku perform KC, siju wedding tumeitwa wapi. Yeah. So hiyo pesa ile kwenda enda kwa school fees hapo hiyo ni sasa. Ayo ni kwa ni pesa yangu. Ila my through out my 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 Ah vizi, throughout my schooling actually I'd say better part of my schooling ni sistangwa leni alinifunza. 
enda mnilipia school fee like throughout my dad chipped in uko tukianza but since vitu zikaenda zikaribika so si standard alikuwa na chip in most of the time actually all the time nilikuwa na road ya kuni sustain pia uh, but pia mimi sikuwa lucky kupata ile sije help eh uh, ah. maze nili apply au kunipatia siji kwa nini nikasema tu ah haina shida anyway, but yeah so hapo hivyo um, nikamaliza okay then kafika tabia kuenda ile attachment so during my attachment nilikuwa nafanya attachment ju nilifanya linguistics media and communication i was doing attachment in kisumu at a radio station known as urban radio yeah so nilikuwa hapo urban radio for a minute nika lan lan bili tatu nini sisi ile shule yetu ilikuwa mazee na wewe wewe find yourself find your way <laughs> wewe unaona vitu mingi sana in general kufunzo hiyo wa editing nini nini hizo vitu zote but nikienda job pale niliona ndio usikuje hapa na mambo umesoma hizo vitu vyote unadhani unajua weka nje hapa tunakufunza vitu different so i was in the editorial department during that time and then sauti soul the introduction of sauti soul now into my life 